Hi, I'm Dennis. I'm here with Amy. We're with the Youth Media Team at Media Literacy Ireland event. We're here with... Dr. Coleman, Doctor. Can you tell us a bit about yourself? Uh, well, I work as a child and adolescent psychotherapist. Um, and I have been working with young people between the ages of kind of naught and 18 for the last 21 years. Um, and usually help young people who suffer from anxiety or eating disorders. Um, but I have a special interest in the impact of technology on our mental health. Um, and I recently wrote a book about that. So uh, that's a little bit about me. What brings someone like you to an event like this? Um, well, I suppose media literacy is one of the areas that I'd be really keen on trying to promote within, uh, I guess, schools and families because I feel that the culture of our technological exposure has changed hugely in the last few years and I think it's really hard to keep up with the level of exposure that exists and I think perhaps it's an important topic that we all, even as adults, need to start thinking about. Why is media literacy important for young people like us? Well, I think from the point of view of the media in, in as a, an entity is a very clever media. It's a very <coughs> clever organisation and they think of lots of ways in which they can sell things to us. So from the point of view of advertisers or companies that want us to spend time on screen. And I think from the point of view of both adults and young people, I think we can be kind of seduced into that quite often. Um, and I think it's just important for us to be able to see that for what it is and make choices that are informed rather than just being kind of taken along on the crest of a wave. Do you have any thoughts on having the digital age of consent at 13 in Ireland? I think the age of digital consent is completely pointless conversation unless we have age verification. Uh, I think from the point of view of the, without being able to prove age, it, it really doesn't set any parameters that are enforceable. I think the issue around the age of consent and what it will do, will it'll be a sign to parents and other people that 13 is probably the age that young people can access the internet. I think that's the the layperson's understanding of it. Um, but that's happening already. We have our technology companies pitching smartphones to children for their confirmation. We have other companies pitching smartphones to children on their first day in secondary school. So it's a given already that 13 is the age in which children should be engaging in technological media. For me, it absolutely depends on the child and the young person. I think age is really arbitrary when it comes to teenagers. I know plenty of 12-year-olds where I'd have no concerns about how they behave online and I know plenty of 17-year-olds who would have grave concerns about what they do online. So I think using age as a barometer is a little bit arbitrary. I think until we have age verification, it's not really that useful a conversation to try and have. Um, but in short, I probably don't see a reason for any primary school age child to need a phone. Um, and I guess that's probably one of the more controversial things that I would say, but it's, I think we need to be learn how to use the technology before we get it, rather than getting it and then trying to learn on the job. Thank you.